how do I put this? There, there is God, because this is where I'm going to get crucified by Donna again, I'm sure. There is the God Saturn that the whole world worships, whether you believe it or not, or you want to listen to it or not, it's the truth. Okay? That's who Yahweh is. That's who Yahoo is. That little ball that you see on your browser, that's Yahoo. Okay? It's, 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 it's a bottle war between factions, between the creator and the guy that kind of moves in the neighborhood.
Okay, well, when you talk about the world being in a monetary state of crisis, which, trust me, in my opinion, there's no money problem whatsoever. It, it, it all goes back to creating the return of the golden age of Saturn, and we have to create chaos to get order. In this whole journey, starting with the Saturn stuff, people watch your stuff, whether you understand it or not. I was in a Chili's, a guy came in, we got to talking, and I found out the guy was amazing. And he said to me, he said to me, he said, you know what, you, you're, you, you're, you perceive things very, very well. And as we were talking, he made a statement that I thought was kind of weird. And he said to me, he goes, why the, he goes, why are you trying to teach people? They don't get it. And I said, well, you know, I enjoy making these this videos and I like putting the information out. He goes, he goes, why are you trying to teach fish in a fishbowl? He goes, stop trying to teach monkeys. I didn't say that. He said that to me in a conversation in the bar in Chili's. Okay, after that guy came in, about two months later, there's two guys that came in. I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there having lunch. They're in, they're in, they're in Navy uniforms. And, the, and so I'm ex Navy, so we get to talking, and the guy goes, the one guy's speaking, he's got a Russian accent. I'm like, what are you doing in the United States Navy? He goes, well, you know, I'm a resident of the United States, so I can do that. Well, that's right, he, he can. And I said, well, what are you guys doing? He goes, we're recruiters. And I said, well, you guys got a card? Because I'm, I'm trying to check something out. And he goes, oh, no, we don't have any cards. A recruiter who's a salesman doesn't have any cards. So I'm like, okay. So then they asked me, well, what do you think, what do you think of, uh, what do you think about um, Somalia? And now I'm thinking, I said to the guy, I said, you mean the Gulf of Aden? Because it's Aden, Aden, it's a biblical word, Aden, Adonai, it's Hebrew, okay? That, that, we'll do that on the next show. But I'm thinking to myself, okay, this is weird that these guys are coming and asking me this stuff. And so I said, well, do you want the easy version or do you want, do you want the longer, harder version? And they said, well, just what do you think? And I said, there's too, there's too many ships down there. I said, there's way too many warships down there um, for pirates. Because pirates, well, you know, let's let's look at the pirate thing. You got warships from all over the world sitting in the Gulf of Aden, which is down by Somalia and South Africa. It's a very important part of, on the planet. Okay? What are they waiting for? If you have that many ships that are sitting there that aren't warring, they're either trying to keep something out or they're trying to keep something in. If you want to care, scare people out of a certain specific area, you, you need to make up a story. And so what you do is you say there's pirates in the area because nobody wants to deal with a pirate, right? But if you, have, if you understand in the occult, Saturn is often referred to as the old man with a peg leg. And what do we know pirates says in the movies? They're always guys with peg legs. And so that tells me that a certain group is using the word pirate to represent Saturn and to keep people out, but the way that it's presented on the news is that there's actual physical pirates down there. I don't think, it, and if any of you have ever seen a real warship, a destroyer, an aircraft carrier, some dudes, in, some dudes in a rowboat, you ain't you ain't taking on a fast frigate destroyer. I can assure you, my friend, it's it's a it's a ploy because there's something going on in the Gulf of Aden, and Aden, Aden is a, in the Greek is Ad, Adonai, who is the god of the deep. And the biblical abyss is in the bottom of the ocean. There's something majorly big going on there.